Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I thought I'd film 10 things you need after a rhinoplasty and let me tell you now these things absolutely saved my life. I don't think without these things I could have made it through to be honest. And ignore the fact I'm just chilling in my dressing gown but like am I really gonna get ready in isolation? Don't think I am. So yeah just got my little list here feels so organised. But yeah, the 10 things you need after a rhinoplasty. The number one thing for me was a humidifier. Mine's downstairs getting washed now, so I can't show you, but I'm pretty sure you all know what a humidifier is. The worst thing is when you just try and go and catch some zeds at night, and next minute you're waking up with a crusty arse throat. Now that is the killer. So literally you just fill it up with water and then put it on through the night. And let me tell you, you will have the best night's sleep ever. Because that is the main thing, really. You can't sleep after a rhinoplasty. You can't breathe through your nose. Ain't nobody got time for that. The second thing I would recommend is lip balm. 100% lip balm. I am obsessed with Vaseline anyway, so I have tubs by the dozen. But your lips, when you go to sleep also, will be drier than the Sahara Desert. And let me tell you now, they'll be flaking, they'll be peeling. It, it just won't be pretty. So I would recommend just bringing lip balm. You can put it on your top lip because after you have a rhinoplasty, snot tends to, <laughs> tends to come out of your nose. I know, lovely. But yeah, and it helps just not make it all dry and crusty and just, yeah, get some lip balm. Number three, a neck pillow. Not just for the plane, if you are traveling to Turkey like I did, but I would recommend a neck pillow to sleep at night. Oh. It's popular. As you can see behind me all my pillows, so I just stack them up and I wouldn't place the neck pillow behind me. I put it in front so it's like the band is here and then that way your head doesn't roll around or like if you're stacked up with pillows behind you, your head tendon, tendons, tendons, has a tendency to just go, well, mine does anyway. And then I end up waking up, don't know where I am, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you now, you will have a stiff arse neck after a rhinoplasty. Okay, guys, so number four. Is that four? Yeah, that's four. So <laughs> number four is pyjamas, tracksuits, and anything zip up. You don't want to be pulling things over your head after your rhinoplasty. You don't want to knock or bang or even risk messing up or touching your face, anything like that. No. Chill and relax. Because one of the mistakes I made is, oh, itchy nose. After my rhinoplasty, I wanted to get up and see things because I was in Istanbul and I made the mistake of trying to walk to the shopping mall. No. I was feeling dizzy, faint, I literally felt like I was going to drop to the floor. I just went back to my room and just chilled out and rested because your body's been through a lot and you don't realise it. It's a major trauma to your face and especially all the blood's rushing there to try and heal. So you don't want to be walking around because you're going to be start feeling uh, dizzy and everything. So number five on my list is, well you probably already know this, but cotton buds. Cotton buds are essential. You need them to clean your nose. Your doctor will probably instruct you to do that. And you get itchy skin above your nose and on your lip. And I just got them and just itched the side of my face. And let me tell you, it was a lifesaver. And like if anything like dribbled, you could just wipe it up boom, good to go, but cotton buds are essential. Number six on my list, what I would recommend, are these little guys right here. Not only are they good for just going under your lip and they can just, you know, catch any blood that falls down if, if you still need one after a few days, but the main thing what I use these for, and honestly, it is one of the best things, is you tend to have a lot of goo and dribble and like snot that comes down. If you keep using tissue above your lip, that's when the skin starts to get dry and irritated, but these aren't as harsh on your skin. So if you feel like anything's annoying you because, let me tell you now, that was a pain in the arse and it's not drying on the skin. These are so much softer and so much more forgiving. I went through literally four packets of these. Sorry, what? Number seven on my list, and this sounds bizarre, but yoghurt. Yoghurt is the best thing to eat after surgery. They're nice and cold, soothing, whack them in the fridge, and as soon as you come out, you need to eat something, get a yoghurt down, yeah? I'm telling you, 
winners. Number eight are these bad boys here. And if you don't know what these are, they are just your yeah, bog standard earplugs. When I was saying this the other day to my mum, she was actually right, like, that is one of the best things you could have let's be let's be real and let's face it you're not gonna get no sleep anyway so get some earplugs and these will help you bring someone with you that snores or anyone in the hotel bangs you're not gonna wake up and you'll get a better sleep so these actually a winner so number nine these things come hand in hand with each other so these are the bromelain tablets and also arnica cream mine's nearly oh spillage mine's nearly out at the moment but my doctor gave me these but i was going to buy them anyway so obviously the arnica your face is going to swell up like a fucking balloon let's be realistic and it hurts and it's tender and it stings and this it's so cooling and it helps all the bruising so i just slap this on at the night and when i wake up my skin didn't feel as tight as irritated and bruised and got over all of my bruising within the first three four days and then the rest was just swelling but this i think played a big part in it also the bromelain does it internally so that'll just help soothe the swelling of the nose and the face they're really good to have number 10 on my list guys is ice packs i made the stupid mistake of not buying ice packs <laughs> and i really should have and now I've learnt my lesson. I was asking, room service, everyone's bring bad, 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 bags of ice. And I had these big bags of ice in the sink all over my face after surgery. And they were leaking and dripping and it was just a hot mess. And I wish I would have bought some ice packs. So easy, so much easier. Could have just whacked them in the fridge, got them out. And the easiest place, please don't make my mistake and buy some ice packs. If you're going to have a rhinoplasty, please. A lot of people were also asking, because I obviously flew to Turkey to get my rhinoplasty. A lot of people were asking the journey home, the flight, how was that and did it affect your nose and was it okay with the pain? Yeah, absolutely fine. No problems there. It just felt like a normal flight. Didn't feel like, you know, any pressure, any pain, nothing at all out of the ordinary. So that was all good. Let me know if you would like me to do a video on my one month post-op and then I'll do it every month afterwards and then we can see how the nose is slowly developing oh, it's grown up so fast thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and yeah i hope you all like the video